so sure. If I'm thinking about starting fly fishing for pike. What's where do I begin? If you've been a trout angler, mm -hmm. the kit just has to be upgraded. Right. We normally use minimum nine weight rods, nine foot nine weights. I like a nine foot ten weight. Mm -hmm. um, the main reason is you're casting big flies, you're casting heavy lines. Yeah. It's easier on you all day if you're casting with heavier rods. Yeah. And the other aspect is these fish, the 20 pound fish, they're big fish, you need to play them quick. Yeah. You want to play them quick for less stress. Yeah. So I guess the, the, the welfare of the fish is a big part of the... the that is the number well. one priority yeah. when you start fishing for bike. Yeah. As much as pike's got a... You call it a perception of being very yeah. aggressive. Yeah. They're a very delicate fish. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess that's a kind of common perception of them. They're kind of killers, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they need to be cared for, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, you can cause yourself a lot of damage. Yeah. But bad handling will kill the fish. What about the, what about the flies and leaders that we use for them? Flies, depending on what time of year and yeah. what they're after, can be anything from three inch <laughs> minnow patterns. Yeah. I've got flies in my box up to 14 inch, big articulated yeah. dragon tails, yeah. uh, depending on what time of year, what bait fish is in the water. Mm -hmm. um, everything <laughs> is designed with synthetics mm -hmm. materials, so everyone's light, yeah. sheds water fast, and you're trying to, you're, you can't cast a fish. Yeah. So you're tying a fly that is a profile, a silhouette of a fish. Yeah. But still lightweight. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh. As for leaders, obviously, Pike's got teeth. Everything we use is we use 18 inch leaders mm -hmm. standard. Yeah. The reason we use a leader so long is in case the fish rolls, it will cut the leader yeah. or damage itself. Everything we use 40 pound plastic coated. Yeah. And that is just for fish protection. Yeah. Raw wire will damage fish's okay. mouth. The plastic coated is a lot softer. Yeah. So uh, presumably then, uh, this, uh, you know, you need the particular kind of lines to go with all this. Yeah. All the, a lot of the pike lines are all designed now. They're short heads, yeah. short heavy heads. They're made for, not for distance. They're just fishing range, yeah. and they're made to turn big flies over. Okay. It's got a really short, aggressive front taper, yeah. and you use a heavy, stiff mono onto your wire. Okay. Really short. Your leader's only total. Yeah. I use four feet, yeah. and it turns big flies over wheeze. Must be quite a contrast from casting flies for trout to uh, <laughs> casting a pipe. So. Yeah, it's a bit different. Everyone's got to be slowed down. Yeah. You've got, I mean, heavy lines drop out there quick. Yeah, yeah. So it's a wee bit different technique, but it doesn't yeah. take long. No, you shouldn't get the hang of it. Yeah. So then, when we're working back the way, then, so what, what about reels then? What, what, what's, what do we need that way? Reels. The most important thing I look for in a reel, I like a large arbor. Yeah. You catch a decent fish, you want it on the you want your line on the reel as quick as possible. Yeah. Save yourself time going round. There's nothing worse than putting a fish and you get your line caught oh, on your yeah. foot or the rock in a boat and it's gone. For a drag, drag's smooth. Mm -hmm. Smooth is best. When you're trying to catch a big fish, you're trying to land a big fish. You don't want to get back into the reeds or back over rocky structure. Yeah, you want control. Be, yeah. You get them up quick, you get the line on the reel, yeah. it'll be in the boat within no time. Yeah. So, uh, with, you know, we can back to the lines a bit then, so do you, do you need different densities or was there a particular yeah. that you get them at? Or? I like open water piking. Right. And how I classify that is when I'm looking for pike, I've been told for years, if it looks pikey, there's no pike there. <laughs> but reed beds, uh -huh. close to shore, they will hold fish, bigger fish at certain times of years, yeah. jacks all year. Yeah. But open water piking, I look for deep water structure. Right. So I'm looking for big weed beds, or I'm looking for rock, rocky shelves, outcrops, channels, yeah. old river beds. And I'll use anything from a DI3 to a DI7. Okay. Depending on time of year. If you're in 20 feet of water in the summer, the, feed, the, the weed can be 10 feet off the bottom, so you've only got 10 feet of water to fish. Right. You need your fly mid-water, so you're down to a DI3. Yeah. But in winter, you're obviously low and slow, so. Yeah. 
So what, what other bits of kit, we've talked a bit about the rod and the line, the reel, etc. What, what other bits of equipment do we need for more pike fishing? The most important other aspects of pike fishing is you need a landing mat. Right. A landing mat is when you get your fish in the boat or on the bank, mm -hmm. it's a nice soft area to put the fish on. Right. So it doesn't jump about and damage itself. Right. You also want, I carry three or four different sizes of forceps. Right. If it's a deep hooked fish, mm -hmm. you can go in through the gills to unhook a fish as well. Right. I also like long side cutters. So if I've got a, a hook that, a fly that doesn't come out, you can cut the hook right. and the fish will shed that. These hooks are now designed so they rust out in a few days. Really? Okay. Um, barbless hooks obviously make it a lot easier. Sure. Um, and especially when you start fishing four O's and six O's, you've got a lot of room to get the hook out. When you start fishing, you can even go one step more and use tube flies for pike. So when you hook a fish, as soon as you open its mouth, you can take the fly and slide up the leader and all you've got is a hook to find. Yeah. But with pike, with fly fishing for them, generally they're hooked, normally the scissors. Really? A lot of these hooks have got an upturn point now. Uh -huh. They're not circle hooks, but they're kind of in between. Right. And they will hook you in the scissors. Yeah. So you don't get a lot of deep hooked fish? Not with fly fishing. No. You're in contact with your fish when you're when you're retrieving your line, so generally you're on it straight it's a bit away. More of a smash and grab yeah. job, yeah. yeah.